Hey, what's going on guys? Well, it is a cold rainy day and I can't think of anything better to do right now in between making videos than making another video. Um, came outside for uh, just a little ambiance. I actually do like when it rains. Uh, I wouldn't want to live somewhere where it's constantly raining all the time, but every now and again, you know, it breaks up the uh, monotony of, uh, you know, just regular weather, I guess. I don't know. There's something about it. It's just, uh, it could be romantic, it could be calming soothing it's just really nice to sit in the rain and, and if i'm outside uh, smoking a pipe or cigar um a nice drizzle is a, a good atmosphere for me uh, to be in it's just i like it um something you will have noticed right away is that i did shave the side of my beard um i was gonna make a whole video on this but obviously you'll see it in this one uh what happened was i was um i'm, I'm losing weight and i'm really getting on the horse now and i'll make a separate video talking about that but um it was discouraging because the beard, I mean, I was losing weight in my face, and you couldn't tell because I had a big beard. So, uh, I was looking at myself, and I'm getting frustrated, um, and I'm like, you know what, I'll just shave the sides off. So, that's what I did. Will I grow it back? I don't know. As of right now, uh, I like it like this. I'll continue growing this out. I'll continue having a mustache for a while. You never know. It's just facial hair. <laughs> people are going to be so torn on this. Some people are going to hate me for shaving. Some people are going to love it. Uh, whatever um that's what i did it is what it is so the sides are actually it's starting to grow in already now i had a beard now the hair is finally growing what a pain in the butt right anyway this video is not about my beard this video is about um smoking a cigar in a pipe why would you smoke a cigar in a pipe well sometimes this happens to your cigar okay i have here a beautiful stick this was a uh, Romeo a Julieta, and I actually forget what what uh, stick exactly, but I know it was a Romeo a Julieta, and um, it got too dry in the humidor. Now I didn't throw this away. What happened was the wrapper cracked and broke, and it you know made the cigar useless. Without a wrapper and a tight seal, it will not smoke properly. And most people with cigars, when this happens, they throw them out, and uh, you don't have to you can smoke the, obviously, the tobacco in a pipe. Now, a lot of people who smoke cigars um, generally just smoke cigars. There are obviously people who uh, smoke both pipes and cigars, so this would be most beneficial for you. I would recommend, however, if you only smoke cigars and you find this happening to you quite often because you can't maintain the humidity and your, your humidor, whatever the case is, don't throw these out, save them. Buy yourself a cheap pipe. And do this okay you can do one of two things obviously you can just break up the tobacco cut it um, and then use it like to uh, pipe tobacco in a pipe and still enjoy uh, most of those flavors you would have uh, you know in cigar form obviously the wrapper does add a little something as far as flavor most times the wrapper is a different type of tobacco leaf than the, the binder and the filler so it does you know in a collection of all three does give a, um, a specific flavor profile for that cigar but even minus the wrapper the um, the filler and the the binder should give you a lot of flavors and a good quality cigar anyway. So like I said, you can cut this up and just use it like to, uh, pipe tobacco. But what I do, which is even easier, is I'll hang on to these. Take my pipe. Today I'm using my Medico for two reasons. One, you want to have a dedicated pipe for this, okay? Because smoking cigar tobacco in a pipe will ghost the pipe. What I mean by that, if you don't know is it will make that pipe taste like cigar tobacco, okay? If you do this, and then you put something else in there, it's gonna change the flavor of everything, okay? So have a dedicated pipe. You can buy these cheap Medicos or, you know, Dr. Gabo. I'm actually gonna post a video soon. I saw those in Rite Aid now, they're for sale. Um, you can get a basket pipe. You can walk in any, any smoke shop and get a cheap 20 or $30 pipe. Uh, and in some cases, even cheaper. But anyway, what you wanna do is take your cigar, Okay, make sure that obviously the ring gauge of your cigar is going to fit into the bowl. If you're going to do it this, this fashion, if it doesn't fit, no big deal. Like I said, chop it up, smoke it that way. But I find this to be a hell of a lot easier. All right, this one does happen to fit just fine. All you need is to get yourself a cigar cutter that obviously um, goes all the way through. Some carters, like the, the perfect cutter, they have a back plate so that it's a perfect you know, a distance every time you make a cut. You want to make sure you have one that can go all the way through. The reason for this, obviously, is we're going to cut a section of this um, cigar off. So I'm going to cut the section here. Now I have a, a chunk of cigar, still intact, by the way, with the that binder. Place that in the pipe. It's like a perfect little pipe plug. All right. 
Now if it's sticking out, no big deal. When you go to cram it in there, if the paper unravels, no big deal. Okay? This is going to smoke just like a cigar, only with your pipe. Imagine this kind of like a, uh, a differently shaped um, cigarette holder. Okay, you know, 50s, 60s, fashionable thing. You have the cigarette holders, the plastic piece, so you're not, it's not touching your mouth. Very classy back then. Very odd looking right now, but some people are into it. No big deal. Uh, it works just like that. So you're still going to smoke the cigar as you normally would. Uh, one bonus to doing this, or using this method, is that you don't have to tamp it. You don't have to worry about going out. It will smoke like a cigar. All right. Take your lighter and light it like you normally would. Of course, this one's running out of fluid. <laughs> why? Because I'm making a video, that's why. It's inconvenient. All right, I'm back. Technical difficulties. Had to fill up the lighter. Now it's working. All right, so I do toast it. It's not really necessary. But uh, you're going to smoke this just like you would smoke your cigar, only through the pipe. works beautifully. Like I said, the big bonus here is there's no tamping. Okay? Uh, the flavor profile does change though. Um, you wouldn't really think so. I mean, the majority of the cigar, like 99% of the cigar, is usually one or two different types of tobacco. Sometimes it could be multiple um, different types of tobacco from all around the world. But the wrapper is, is just that one thin, beautiful presentation tobacco leaf. But most times, because it's different, it does add something to it, okay? Every time that I've, I've done this, I've noticed that the cigar had a slightly different flavor than when it was originally, you know, a cigar with a wrapper on it. Works beautifully. What's nice about this is that instead of throwing the cigar out, I can actually smoke the cigar at least four or five times. Now, if you're um, someone who likes cigars, um, but you don't necessarily want to sit there or smoke one for two hours, let's say, or an hour or whatever it happens to be. Um, you could just, right off the bat, with the wrapper on, do this same application in a pipe and enjoy it in little chunks, little spurts. You can have maybe a 25 minute or half hour smoke um, by doing two, two of these um, nubs, or you can just do one maybe for like 15 minutes. Just depends on your style of smoking, but like I said, this is gonna work perfectly fine in your pipe. You just want to make sure that uh, when you're doing this, the bowl is big enough, obviously, to fit your cigar. I do prefer this style as opposed to chopping up and, and trying to light it like uh, regular pipe tobacco. Um, I've had uh, not, not too much success doing it that way. This, this works much better. Anyway, just want to show you that. Works beautifully. Don't throw away your uh, cigars okay uh, oftentimes what happens I think the biggest um, the biggest reason that you have uh, wrappers that crack and split and stuff like that is a humidity issue if they get too dry they do split and they crack and, and you have all kinds of problems but don't throw it out it's a waste some of you guys out there are paying you know six dollars to fifteen dollars per cigar um, you know don't don't throw it out in the garbage you could still enjoy it and if anything it's a little more versatility allows you to enjoy a cigar in you know, smaller increments of time. So, pretty cool idea. Ooh, rain's picking up. Just in time, you're probably gonna have a hard time hearing me soon. I know we're supposed to get a lot of uh, thunder showers later today, so. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you're not too disappointed with the uh, shaving of the beard. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.